The Fairy Tale Fountain or the Märchenbrunnen is a large public fountain from the imperial area in Berlin. Children in particular love the various fairy tale characters. In the summer months, the fountain is a popular meeting place within the park. The Volkspark Friedrichshain is located around one kilometer east of Alexanderplatz. As early as the 1890s, the first plans for the construction of a fairy tale fountain in Volkspark Friedrichshain existed. In 1901, the city planning officer Ludwig Hoffmann provided the concept of the fountain system that is now located at the western entrance to the Volkspark. The fountain square is framed on the right and left by five stone benches with high travertine back walls. To the right and left of each bench are pedestals with cast stone fruit or rose bowls. As two side entrances to the main fountain, labyrinth-like hedge paths are laid out, at the ends of each of which there are two monumental home figures. A ninefold architecture with lateral arches framed by dull pilasters demarcates the fountain square, which is an expensive example of Wilhelmine art preservation in a semicircle against the park. In the arched openings there are large stone bowls with fountains. Its balustrades are decorated with fortune sculptures by Josef Rau, depicting a number of huntable animals. Key elements of the design were hedges framing the whole complex and the alternation of wide and narrow spaces. At the edge of the large four-tiered fountain are the grim fairy tale figures designed by Ignaz Taschner in 1912 and 1913. Among the stone sculptures are Hansel and Gretel, each depicting riding a duck, Cinderella, Hans in Luck, Little Red Riding Hood, Snow White with the Seven Dwarves, Sleeping Beauty, Brother and Sister, the Seven Ravens and finally Puss in Boots or the Cat Who Wore Boots. The creepy figures conceived by Georg Verbas and set up on the side angles such as Mother Hulda, Man Eater and Giant Daughter are missing today. The fairy tale fountain designed in the neo-baroque style was finally completed and handed over to the public as the first public park of the city in 1930. It is also the larger public fountain project in Berlin. To the east, only a few meters away, Hoffmann had planned another ornamental fountain in a garden roundabout, which was inaugurated at the same time. The fountain, which was later named after its round shape, connects to the arched gallery of the fairy tale fountain via a short footpath. The fairy tale fountain and the Volkspark Friedrichshain as a whole suffered severe destruction in 1945 due to the fighting towards the end of the Second World War. After the end of the war, most of the sculptures had disappeared. It was not until 1950 that they reappeared behind a high wall in a vegetable garden in the Friedrichshain district, many of them badly damaged. In 1950-51, the Berlin magistrate had the fountain restored with its technical facilities. Instead of the original fairy tale sculptures, coarser copies were erected and the surrounding gardens were redesigned in a simplified way. Further steps towards the restoration and reconstruction of destroyed figures followed in 1972 and 73 and 1982 and 83. After German reunification in the period after 1990, vandalism became a permanent problem. Destroyed and precautionarily dismantled figures as well as graffiti on many parts of the architecture disfigured the overall picture. Entire groups of figures were pushed from the pedestal into the fountain and shattered into many individual pieces such as the Seven Ravens in 1995. In October 2000, the Federal Fountain was closed off and restored. The fence and the nightly access barrier for the area of the Federal Fountain are intended to prevent future vandalism of the 106 decorative stone figures. Mm -hmm.